All right, guys, we're going to do something a little different here on this video. I had posted some pictures of this cool spot. It's one of my favorite spots. You guys have seen me land here before. I made a video on it a while back, back in the fall. And uh, I posted on some Facebook groups and Instagram and stuff like that, and I had some interesting comments. You know, people were really loving it and thinking it was an awesome spot. And I was telling them, you know, hey, it's it's really hard to get in and out of here. It's pretty sketchy. And uh, and, and, and several people agreed. They said, I don't, I don't even see how it's possible at all. So I decided to make just a quick video of just landing here from the other day. Uh, coming in here, this time of year it's beautiful, it's green, it's just a fantastic spot. I was uh, actually coming home from a day of flying and needed to wait out some weather. I needed to kill about an hour and a half to let some weather pass uh, back towards home. And I thought, hey, this is a perfect spot. I love this place. I'll stop and uh, go for a hike, get some exercise, and kill a little time. And so I got these cool drone shots, and it's really pretty and everything, but it really is a tough spot to get in and out. And I thought, I'm going to show the video of that, um, especially the takeoff. Takeoff, there was a few seconds there that were pretty sketchy, and uh, we'll go into that and break down what happened and discuss it a little bit. Okay, so we'll start with the landing. I'll talk through that real quick. Uh, you got to work down through these trees, and it's tough. It's just a really tight squeeze. The wind does weird things. There's a steeper uphill section, and then the main part of the LZ is uphill this direction, but not nearly as steep. I usually end up touching down on the upper part of that steep section. You can't actually touch down much earlier than that. It, it's pretty rough. And so a lot of times I do catch a little bit of air as I come over that crest and the transitions from the steep to the less steep part. Um, it's not as bad as it looks. It's it's actually fairly smooth. A little bit of a roller coaster through there, but not too bad. But I just like to get down and touch as soon as possible because the whole thing is pretty short and it's it's 9,000 something feet. And you know, a day like this where it's warm, density altitudes probably pushing up around 13,000 feet. Okay, now let's move on to the takeoff here, and I'll show you why this particular takeoff was a little bit sketchy. I've been in and out of here several times. In the cooler temperatures, uh, everything was better, but there's a couple of factors that made it tough on this day, and there was a couple seconds that were eh, not quite ideal. So let me show you this. I'll show you outside and inside view, and we'll break it down. All right, so I have a tail in on takeoff because it's just not strong enough to warrant taking off uphill with these trees out front. There's a little gap in the trees there. It's not great, but it's more open and it is downhill. So I'm just gonna take the tailwind because it looks pretty light. So shouldn't be too big a deal. It's just that even though it's almost seven o'clock out, it's still really warm. That's the only bummer. Okay, so as you can see there on that takeoff, and I'll show it here again kind of in slow motion, airspeed's pretty low. Now, airspeed's just an indication on an instrument, doesn't mean a whole lot. What your butt's telling you is far more important, but it does mean something, and it's lower than normal. Now, obviously, when you rotate and you increase the angle of attack, the airspeed is going to show a little bit lower, and that's not a huge deal. That's part of, again, why it's not all that accurate. But I was feeling it a little bit in the seat of the pants, too, that we're a little soggy there. We're hanging on the prop for those first couple seconds while I'm clearing those trees. And that's not an ideal place to be 
you know, hanging on the prop that slow, if anything goes wrong, it gets real ugly real fast. So I don't like that. Now, I'm comfortable flying slow down in the trees, canyons, all that stuff. You got to be comfortable being uncomfortable doing this kind of flying, and that's fine. But that was just plain too slow. And, you know, what led to that? Well, probably a couple of things. Number one, this is why I hate taking off with a tailwind and why you guys have seen me take off uphill into a headwind many times. I mean, even at 13,500 feet when I landed on that mountain, took off uphill, pretty steep uphill on a short spot. I did have a lot of headwind and that's what dictated that. And I go into that in that video and why. So obviously taking off uphill it presents some disadvantages, but if you're taking off uphill with a, a headwind and you have the power to pull it up the hill, there are some advantages. For example, if you need to abort and shut down, it's much easier in that scenario than it is downhill with a tailwind. Your ground speed is just way higher right off the bat before you're even flying. On a spot like this with a tailwind, it's very short. There's very small margins to begin with. By the time I get barreling down that hill, I'm committed and I'm riding it out. So along the lines of that tailwind, I think part of what happens is, you know, I pick it up off the ground and the tailwind is getting stronger down in that area further down the hill there and a little higher up there's a little bit more tailwind uh, it would make a lot of sense that's totally a thing that happens the trees and the rocks and everything back behind you is sheltering you from that wind the further you know the higher up you get the more you're going to pick up that that wind it's going to get stronger so that could be a factor you know and I didn't I didn't give that that enough consideration I didn't factor that in enough I just it's basically overlooked it I you know I think uh, dodging weather and trying to get home before dark uh, my mind was elsewhere and you know that kind of stuff can bite you just probably have oh I don't know well over a thousand off airport landings mainly in these mountains and you know that's quite a bit of experience and yet still come out here and learn things all the time always learning always more to learn also it was a lot warmer than would have been ideal and uh, I assumed when I went in there that hey it's gonna cool off the winds gonna die back you know late this evening it'll be great well me assuming that doesn't make it come true and sure enough it was still plenty warm and that wind was still blowing a little bit. So those factors didn't help. I was obviously a little heavier than normal, I had two thirds fuel, extra baggage, camera gear, so on and so forth. And like I said before, being in there in the fall when things were cooler, well, it's just a whole different story here. And that kind of leads me to the main point, and that is the margins here are very slim when everything is right. In ideal conditions, it's a pretty tight squeeze. Uh, showing up here on a warm day and a little heavy and so on and so forth, now you've got very little margins and coming out of there like i said for a couple seconds that first set of trees that was sketchy you know that was a little bit uncomfortable and uh so anyway is that am i saying i'm never going to come back not necessarily but i think this one warrants really paying attention to the details i've been spoiled by the power that this engine will produce because it just claws its way through just about anything but it doesn't matter when you know you're up that high and being fixed pitch it is down on power a little bit can't run quite as much boost and all those factors you know they do matter and it's a reminder of that for me and it's also a reminder of do i really need to be there yeah it's a fantastic spot but do i really need to be there well probably not let me know your guys' thoughts and we'll have a little discussion about it uh, i just wanted to post this up and kind of show everybody what it takes to get in and out of there and it's, it's, it's an interesting one for sure. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. You guys know the deal. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.